Hi, I'm Claire. I'm Retail Brand Manager here at the Bike Shed and this is my staff bike, the Harley-Davidson 883. So I bought this bike new two years ago from Harley-Davidson. When I passed my full test, I got rid of my 125. I went straight to Harley-Davidson to the showroom. I sat on the Sportster. I absolutely loved it and I bought it there and then. The reason that I did buy the Harley-Davidson Sportster is because my husband and myself, we decided that we wanted to do a trip to California for our honeymoon and ride two Harleys down the PCH, which is an incredible road in California on the West Coast. Amazing scenery, just beautiful roads. We had an absolute blast doing it. It was absolutely fantastic. And if you're going to do that route, you have to do it on a sports. It's like iconic shape. It looks really cool. Also, I've been to Camp VC a few times on this bike. Camp VC, for those who don't know, is a fantastic all women's motorbike camp out. There's ride outs, there's music, there's lots of beer. It's really good times. Everyone comes together and it's just awesome. As well as that, I have been to France this year with my mechanic, it was his birthday. My husband, a group of us rode there. It was right into the middle of France, so I did 15 hours on this bike coming back. It wasn't the most comfortable thing that I've ever done, but I still wouldn't swap this bike for anything else. I love it. So, I've not done that much to this bike, I have to admit. Harley parts are quite expensive, but I'll tell you what I have done to it so far. It's a work in progress, so there's still things to do. So we'll start with my grips, which Gareth calls gash grips, but I really like them. I think they look really cool on my bike. He can say what he likes, but I love them. Also, they're a bit thicker than the stock grips, so they're good on long journeys. Um, the exhaust. This is the second set of exhausts I've had on this bike. I had a pair of Vance and Hines on here first. Um, I didn't like the look of them. I didn't like the sound of them. So after I'd saved up enough money, I got these Kyriakon Crusher Mavericks. They have a deeper, louder sound and I absolutely love them. I also got the air filter from Kyriakon at the same time I got the exhausts. Rocky from Rocky's Motorcycles in Rayleigh, stage one did it for me, did the exhaust, attached the air filter. Not only is my mechanic, he's actually a really good friend now, hence the France trip. This was custom made in America. This is by Stephen Edward Ritchie. He custom makes sissy bars, for, especially for Harleys. Um, it looks really cool, but also it's really practical because I can put everything on here, tent, sleeping bag, and then I can put all my stuff in my rucksack on here. So it's actually quite practical as well as looking cool. As I said, it's a work in progress. There's still lots of things that I want to do to the bike. I want to get new handlebars. I want to get new indicators. I want to get a new seat. I want to get new foot pegs. It's kind of an endless list at the moment. Um, but so far, I'm really happy with what I've done to it. So now we're going to wheel it outside and I'm going to show you how it sounds. It's a little bit dark because it is really late now. Um, and you can see how these amazing pipes sound. Fun fact, I actually ran over a, a nail this morning and I've got a flat tyre. So it's really hard to move it. Dan, give us a push. Interesting to film, surely. It is. <laughs>